And tonight, more of our WHS 11 News exclusive with the fired U of L athletic director Tom Jurich, which first aired at 11 last night. Here at six, brand new comments that have not aired until now. During his 20 year tenure, Jurich became known for giving second chances, forgiving both Bobby Petrino and Rick Patino for personal sex scandals and standing by Patino after the stripper bombshell that could now lose the school its third national championship. During my interview, Jurich talked about his wife often and how she's always been the glue that keeps their family strong. In fact, he said going forward for him after a long career, it's now all about his wife. So I asked him this. You mentioned your wife. You're so loyal to your wife. Mm -hmm. She's a strength for you. Yes, she is. She's my pillar. But then you see these coaches and how they treated their wives. Yeah, but that's not me. That's not me. But it had to burn you up. Yeah, it does. It does. But people make mistakes. And I like to see how people grow out of those mistakes. And so you, you alluded to me giving second chances. That's part of the, the reason I do that. I like seeing people with growth. A lot of people make mistakes. And it's just, that's just a fact of life. And I wanted to be the, people that, the person that maybe could help them and help grow them. And I've seen a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of them near, not nearly as publicized as others that have made several mistakes that we've been able to help and work through and, and help them have a wonderful life. Jurich told me he's not fighting to get his job back. He wants his contract honored and says after 20 years of service, despite the recent questions about his leadership, he feels badly treated by UofL. If you had a message to them for how they should treat people in the future, what would it be? Not like this. Not like this. Again, he answered all of our questions. No topic was off limits. Another man forced out of his job under retirement who complained about his treatment by the school and Jurich is former coach Denny Crum. Jurich talked about the decision to remove Crum a couple of times in our interview, calling it the toughest moment of his tenure, but one that also honored a contract in the end. In the basement of Tom Jurich's house. Him and Lonnie were there the, almost the first day we took this job. The reminders of 20 years as UofL's athletic director. Jurich is in the Kentucky Hall of Fame. But it was another Hall of Famer that entered our conversation when I asked him during our exclusive interview of all the controversies, what was his toughest moment? Well, the hardest was Coach Crow because he was a legend. You know, you, and nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, well, I can't wait to get rid of a Hall of Fame coach. You know, it's, it's just very difficult, but it was necessary. And it was a move that we had to make. But that was, that was probably the most difficult one. I wish. I wish that we never would have had to do that. In the letter firing him from interim president Greg Postel, the university accused Jurich of being a bully to people in student government and the school's leaders. Do you think maybe the, the term bully comes back to your loyalty that you expect from people around there? And if you don't get it, you react in an intimidating uh, manner. And I, I wouldn't, I never saw that. I always try to treat people with the utmost respect everywhere, in, in any way of life, because that's how I want to be treated. I always believe you treat people the way you want to be treated. Why do you think they called you a bully? I don't know. I don't know. Was that term a surprise in that letter to you? Well, it's just one person calling me that. And I certainly had no issues with him that he would ever be able to say something like that. But it's an offensive term, very offensive. Since 2001, when Crum was pushed to retire, Jurich has also been criticized by fans of Crum and Crum's own wife for not treating the coach well after he retired. 16 years ago, Jurich and Crum did become embroiled in a public spat over the forced retirement that ended as WHAS 11 and others reported back then after weeks of sniping with the athletic director. The, the biggest fight on change you had, what was it? Which one was it, do you think? Probably Coach Crum. You know, I think everybody recognized it was time to do it. It's just nobody wanted to do it, you know. And that's a credit to him, and that's why I'll never take anything away from him. You've brought him up several times. Do you think you handled that one badly? No, no, I don't. I don't think there's any other way I could have handled it. Crum's exit may have been messy, but he was guaranteed $7 million by the university when President John Shoemaker worked the final deal with Jurich and the coach. They gave him the $2 million left on his contract and paid him $5 million over the next 15 years to be a consultant to the school. In September of this year, UofL told Crum that it was not renewing the deal as the school cut back on costs. Right after Jurich was fired, Crum became a calming figure, showing up next to acting coach David Paget at the school's first red-white public scrimmage in the Yum Center, and then appearing with other alumni in this group photo. Do you have a message to him today that you'd like I to I talk say? to him all the time. I talk to him whenever I see him. Very congenial to both of them. 
Are you surprised at the blowback that still comes your way? No, because he's been here so long. He's got a lot of friends too. You know, and friends, friends take care of their own friends. And I understand that. Jurich and his wife are downsizing here in Louisville, but will be moving to another Louisville neighborhood. He calls Louisville his home base. He told me he's currently looking over a book deal that's been offered that would cover his time at UofL and the business of athletics. So will he ever be an athletic director again? He says who knows, he may go in a new direction from here on out. He still doesn't believe the national championship is in jeopardy. And yes, he says tonight that he may soon show up in the stands as a fan watching a Cardinal football or basketball game in the future.